Yo, what is going on, guys? It is Boy Duck of the Gamer back again with another video. Now, in today's video, I am going to be discussing the title and where I've been in terms of uh, my streams on YouTube, like what happened, why it's kind of dropped off the face, stopped streaming, um, but how I've also been able to manage the fact that I'm still uploading daily content, stream content to the channel, and just what happened, like basically an update on the streams and on the channel. So, uh, the short answer, the two answers, short answer, long answer. The first one, short answer, um, I went to twitch.tv. I've been streaming on twitch.tv slash Ducky the Gamer every single day, or basically every day I can for at least three to five hours. I've been doing three to five hour streams, and these past like two weeks have been more fun than like the past two months on youtube even though i've been averaging like a fifth of the viewers i did on youtube it's been absolutely amazing the community the support is all amazing so a lot of you guys who've been wanting to watch the streams there you go i live stream daily on twitch.tv same set same schedule same time same format um, but just on a different streaming platform so if you want to drop a follow uh, the link will be in the description and turn on post notifications um, but now that i'm done selling out my twitch let me go ahead and explain why i stopped live streaming on youtube and why i moved to twitch now there's two main reasons why i switched to to twitch so the first one and sort of the main one was, was my mental state so um, a lot of things in terms of YouTube revolves around your, your mental state. If you're feeling good, you can make videos, you can make content, be interactive with your audience. But if you're sort of not in a good mental state, you know, you wake up, you're like, oh, I don't want to do YouTube today. I don't want to make a video. You know, the, the quality of your content starts to go downhill. You know, if you're really passionate about something, whether it's, you know, YouTube or art or sports, like you're going to try to do the best you can at all times. But when you're not feeling it, you're not motivated, not passionate, your stuff's going to go downhill. The, the thumbnails, the video quality, the stream quality all that stuff i noticed started to go downhill um once my streams started to decline in viewers all right guys so as i'm editing this video i realized i completely left out one of the biggest things that i wanted to touch on in this video and that was the fact that i am not ungrateful or that i'm not you know i'm not mad that i got all these viewers in, in the first place over summer i am more than thankful that that ever happened because honestly if my streams wouldn't have blown up in the summer then this would have never even been possible so um i completely forgot to say that and this the, that's the whole point as i didn't want to come off as ungrateful in this video so um if you guys are from you know the summer streams i completely completely appreciate you guys your support has meant the world to me it's allowed me to make this my job right now so i completely um love you guys for all the support so i just wanted to say that while i'm editing this video throw it in there so you guys don't think i'm just you know quitting youtube streaming for the views or the money or anything like that but anyways let's keep her going i'm not saying the decline in viewers made my streams worse just personally you know the decline in viewers i associated that with a decline in my quality so even though my quality of the streams was staying the same if not better um i thought personally that just because i was losing viewers that my streams had to be getting worse or you know the thumbnails are getting worse or the titles are getting worse um even though all these things stayed relatively the same over the past two months i've been losing viewers so i thought to myself mentally that i was becoming a worse youtuber just because i was losing viewers which doesn't really make any sense because you know i was still enjoying it to a degree i was still streaming um but towards the later end the latter end of september and early october um, I was, you know, just really hating YouTube streaming. I would stream, you know, uh, you know, a three hours, two and a half hours, two hours sometimes just because I couldn't get through the stream. I would just, you know, hate the toxicity so much. I just couldn't handle, you know, the, the lack of viewers. And I was just not streaming for long periods of time, which is obviously not good for stream streams. You're trying to go as long as you can, you know, for, for people to stop by and say what's up whenever they can get into the stream. So branching off that point a little bit was the toxicity of the YouTube chat. Now, when you have a few hundred people watching, you're going to have, you know, a, m a majority of those supporters. You're going to have like 90% supporters, 95% people who are on your side, enjoy your content and want to genuinely watch your streams. But at the same time, you're going to have that 5 to 10% of people who just want to hate. They want to, you know, spam hate comments, rude things about you, about chat, all that stuff. And when you're not like, once again, when all this stuff builds on top of it, when I'm losing viewers, when people are just constantly berating me, like I'm a trash player, you know, streams going downhill, yikes in the chat, um, it all adds up. So because the chat was extremely toxic toward me, um, I, it, it just, you know, made me feel even worse about the views and about how i was playing you know even though i was getting like three to four wins a game i still thought i was playing worse i, I wasn't getting like crazy high code games i was like oh that's my fault like that's chat's fault like a lot like streams fault a lot of things slowly like built upon each other to just a point i was like i can't take this like this is not gonna happen anymore and so it, it's pretty hard especially for like the mental state of things to describe how i was feeling during that time i've tried to record this video multiple times because i just can't like it's hard to put feelings into words especially for a you know a 
decision this big i didn't think of this decision like oh you know did i had a bad stream let's go to twitch.tv boys this was like uh like four weeks of me deciding youtube or twitch like back and forth every single day multiple times a day i would switch between youtube and twitch and what i wanted to do and where i wanted to stream and you know put my time and effort into and so one of these things by themselves is not really bad but once you have a three or four really big things weighing down on you especially for live streaming which is you're in front of the camera for like three hours straight trying to entertain if you can't do that if you're like at 30 minutes where it's down or an hour where it's down you know like it's going to impact your stream so all these things just really didn't help my mental state and the way i was feeling about youtube and you know the future of my streams and so that's sort of like i tried to I tried my best my very best to explain hopefully you know the mental side of things basically i was just feeling really bound down about my streams down about my gameplay and the chat would come and remind me that you suck you know get trash at the game and then at the same time my analytics are going downhill which is the uh second point that i wanted to add um of why i moved to twitch which is sort of the analytics this isn't the main reason why i switched to twitch because on twitch i'm actually pulling less viewers but having more fun um but just a little touch on the analytics my streams lost like 90 percent of the viewers in only a matter of two months which is really weird like i didn't change my titles i didn't change my thumbnails really um i didn't do anything out of the ordinary to make me lose all these viewers but youtube basically just said hey yo ducky the gamer we're gonna stop promoting your streams and you're not gonna get any more viewers and then you're just gonna feel bad about yourself and then all this stuff is gonna happen so basically youtube the algorithm it's super hard to predict it's super hard to work into um but the algorithm wasn't promoting my streams so i was like screw it like you know i'm just gonna keep grinding i'm gonna keep going as hard as i can but when you're working as hard as you can and the youtube algorithm is working against you as hard as it can it's really tough to want to keep grinding knowing you have no chance to grow like i was still getting you know subscribers every stream new viewers people stopping by dropping likes saying what's up but when you're trying your absolute hardest to stream and to entertain and youtube just doesn't want to have any part of it doesn't want to promote your streams doesn't want to give you a chance it doesn't send out notifications to my followers who have notifications turned on it's really tough to want to keep that going every single day so that's a little bit of the analytical side and at the same time whenever i uh, would live stream i would notice you know if i, I usually uploaded a video at two o'clock live stream that's seven o'clock the video whenever i up whenever i started streaming would do much worse while i'm live so let's say you know it gets x amount of views it basically would get half the views during the, the time i was streaming compared to when it normally would so it would hurt the the, the performance of my videos which is really unfortunate because i put a lot of, a lot of time and effort into my videos so to put a lot of time and effort into my videos to stream have the streams do bad have the videos do bad um and then at the same time realize that there's no big youtube daily streamers like i would stream daily i would upload daily there's no person on this website that does that that is successful roland gt is a god he's doing it somehow i am super happy for the man santa live streams daily um nick at 30 uploads once a week live streams daily all these guys are successful on youtube st streaming but they don't upload as much as i do so taking all these things into consideration knowing that i personally love to make videos i've been making videos for seven years i'm not stopping videos for streaming um the only choice for me uh just to help my mental state out and to also give my videos a chance was to move to twitch.tv so as you guys know twitch every single person on the ninja uh dakotas tend to tap man like i can literally just go on and on and on about all the amazing people over on twitch so everyone streams on twitch and then uploads to youtube which is what i've been doing for the past two ish weeks i've been live streaming on twitch getting like a highlight gameplay like i've always done and then upload it onto youtube and so like i touched on earlier the support on twitch has been absolutely insane my last three streams have been my best three streams a lot of new people in the community have been stopped by dropping a lot of follows a lot of viewers and it's just been really fun so i will be staying on twitch.tv for the foreseeable future um, because there's just so much room for growth ninja pulling you know what 100k viewers a stream i'm not saying i'm pulling 100k a stream but i can pull you know a few hundred a thousand viewers a stream on average maybe like it, it, it's possible it's very possible i know somebody personally who switched who did the same thing as me a month ago switched from youtube to twitch and he's absolutely killing the game obey upshaw um, i don't know if you guys know him he's an absolute beast gameplay streams love him so it's really possible Twitch is a much more forgiving platform. The more you grind, the more you're rewarded. But YouTube for me, it felt like the more I grinded, the longer I streamed. It didn't matter because I wasn't going to get viewers. I wasn't going to get more subscribers. Um, it, wouldn't, it wasn't going to help my channel out. So in the end, 
I just realized there were so many more pros to switching to Twitch than there were cons. Like the cons, I lose some of my YouTube audience, which is really unfortunate. A lot of the dedicated viewers who don't watch streams on Twitch, but at the same time, my mental state has improved like crazy. Like I'm just, I wake up and I'm happy. And I'm like, I want to stream. I want to grind. Let's like, let's get this bread. You know what I mean? But on YouTube, I would say, oh, I got to stream today. Like to keep my channel live. So, you know, a lot of things have improved. Um, the Twitch streams have been doing really amazing. So once again, a link will be down in the description if you want to go follow that. Um, I will continue to do daily uploads on this channel. Do it on tone on subscribe if you're if you're afraid I'm going to quit YouTube. Not quitting YouTube. I just won't be daily streaming or you know haven't been daily streaming to YouTube. Um, and I'll just continue daily uploading, continue uploading videos. I'm going to try to put as much time and effort into my videos as possible. Got a lot of really cool things coming up in the next few days and weeks. And also a super, super big announcement in terms of this channel will be happening in about two to three weeks, maybe depending on when I want to release the announcement. So I'm super excited for the future of the channel and the streams. I love streaming. I love YouTube. Um, but it just got to the point where I couldn't handle the the daily negativity that was put on myself by myself and also by people in the community to the point where I, I just ha I had to do something man I want to do this for as long as possible I want to make YouTube videos I want to stream for you guys as long as I possibly can so to do that the best thing is just to put yourself in a good mental you know stay and just grind as hard as you can so that's what I've been doing like my streams on Twitch have been insanely long like four five hours a night while I'm in college um while you know all this is going on like i've been grinding as hard as i can on twitch because it's fun like i genuinely enjoy it the community over there like i said is amazing it's extremely extremely supportive and i just think i'm gonna enjoy it. i think you know twitch is the right place for me right now youtube is the best place for me to upload videos so that's what i'm gonna be doing uh, if you guys have any questions related to this uh, you know issue or like why i switch and drop them down below in the comment section um if people unsubscribe i understand because i know it's i know people just subscribe for my streams and they're not going to be watching them because I'm not going to be on Twitch anymore or YouTube anymore. So um, I completely understand that people might dislike this video. People might like it, whatever. It, it's fine. I just I had to make this video because a lot of people had no clue what happened. I just kind of dropped off the uh, off the face of YouTube. They didn't know. So they just, you know, didn't watch on Twitch or whatever. Um, so that's that's what's been going on. So if you enjoyed this explanation video, I guess drop a like it, it, once again. Honestly, don't even drop a like. Just drop a follow on my Twitch. I'll be live tonight when you're watching this video. Um, I'll probably be live 7 to 10 or 7 to 12 Eastern Standard Time. I'm trying five-hour daily streams, guys. Um, so drop a follow if you want to. Drop a like. Drop a sub. Whatever you want to do. It, it's completely up to you. But I'm finally, I think, uh, this is the video. I've recorded the video so many times. So I'm not going to waste any more time. Guys, I appreciate you for sticking around. If you did, watch all the way to the end. And uh, yeah, guys, I will see you guys in my next Twitch live stream. Peace.